The Cumberland County, New Jersey prosecutor this afternoon released this new image right there of missing Dulce Maria Alaves. Now, Dulce went missing from the Bridgeton City Park four years ago. This is what she looked like at five years old right here. That picture right there is what she looks like at nine. That's what investigators believe as the search for her continues. As part of the NBC10 true crime series, Somebody Knows Something, the disappearance of Dulce, NBC10 investigative reporter Claudia Vargas went to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to see how these types of progressions are created. Dulce Maria Alaves has had four birthdays without her family. Her mom has made a point to celebrate them at the park where she went missing in 2019. Only come when there's like her birthday, the day she's missing. It's a way to keep her daughter's name and face in the public eye. But Dulce's appearance has most likely changed since she went missing in 2019. The five-year-old was playing with her little brother at a Bridgeton City Park playground while their mom was in the car. When Noema went to check on them, Dulce was nowhere to be found. We started yelling her name, and that she was playing hide and seek. But when I checked, I couldn't find her. Police came out in droves, and yet Dulce's disappearance remains a mystery to this day. To help the public be on the lookout for what Dulce might look like as the years go on, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children created an age progression composite of the girl. Update not only what their face might potentially look like, but maybe a, a member of the public's understanding of that child's face after two years of them being missing. Colin McNally is one of the center's forensic artists. In September 2021, at the two-year mark of Dulce's disappearance, he created an age progression composite. We just start studying all the family reference photos that we had available. So we had multiple siblings to pull from, but then we have a lot of footage of mom in interviews. We have great pictures of mom, not only selfies, but pictures that were taken of her. This was the composite he created, but it didn't go over so well with the girl's family. There was feedback saying that she might have looked a little bit old. That really doesn't look nothing like Dulce. I don't think that will, Dulce will look, will look like that in two years. Colin showed us how he designed a new age progression that the family was more comfortable with. It was released the day after the previous image. You can kind of see it's still still looking like like her, but just you know a little bit elongated. The lower two thirds of the face is stretched a little bit, um, and then we're hoping that the details, not only um, in her face, but you know everything from the shape and pattern of her ear that we can kind of see from her. Uh, photo here. It's one of 8,000 age progression sketches of missing children the organization has created since its launch in 1989. They could be uh, a piece of imagery that's immediately recognized by somebody in the public when it's released. It can also be just a new reason to talk about the case, to highlight the case on social media. The center creates a new composite for every missing child in its database every two years. And so for the four year mark of Dulce's disappearance, another artist created this new composite of Dulce at nine years old. And we're hoping that that will um, you know, create that uh, unbiased and, and fresh perspective. So again, this is the latest age progression composite of what Dulce would look like at nine years old. And this one here is what she looked like at five years old right before she went missing. Claudia, you said that, and you talked about, and we heard from her mom, who said that the first composite sketch didn't look like her. Mm -hmm. What does she think of this one? So we reached out to her today once the new composite was released, and yeah. she said she actually hasn't heard from anybody about it. And we shared it with her. It's now publicly been released. Yep. So we sent her the page where she could see it. Um, I haven't heard back from her in terms of her reaction, but when I first reached out, she hadn't seen it. So we did reach out to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, mm -hmm. which is the agency that did the composite and mm -hmm. would work with the families to ensure that, um, you know, they're okay with it. Mm. Very interesting. Where can we watch uh, Somebody Knows Something, The Disappearance of Dulce? Yeah, so you can watch it this Friday, which is now tomorrow. I get to say yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Um, on NBC10 at 7 p.m. And the streaming channel's listed right there on your screen. All right, very good. Claudia Vargas reporting for us. Thank you, Claudia. And if you have any information or a tip regarding the disappearance of Dulce Maria Alaves, scan that QR code on your screen or you can call the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and investigators say you can remain anonymous. Mm.